At the time, we know that the ice sheet was here, the lobe, because the water was uh, diverted to the west. It didn't flow right down here into the Big Arm Embayment. It was diverted around this way and discharged down here. And the water diverting around the lobe here joined the water coming from under the lobe here and it flowed down big draw to the west. Notice there the delta type fan, how it fans out. And also notice that this channel through the sand here, that's like Grand Coulee. This is a major piece of evidence that contradicts, and there's several lines of evidence suggest that the Dayton Ice Lobe impounded a glacial lake in the upper Dayton Valley. This lake, termed Glacial Lake Ronan, was centered approximately over the site of contemporary Lake Mary Ronan, but it would have been much bigger impounding of water. Okay, so where did that water come from? 